WA. I'm Derek. This weekend, we have a long weekend. It's WA uh, Labor Day. So it's good. Uh, it's a good opportunity to get out there and relax yourself. I'm going to Bremer Bay and I'm going to meet up my mate uh, in, in, uh, in Reef Beach quite a few times. It is a fantastic spot to go and I love it. Uh, not just exploring this time, but also a bit of fishing as well. Stay tuned. After an hour and a half of driving on Beachman, I finally arrived at Reef Beach Trek, and then it took me another half an hour uh, to reach the campsite. I met up with my mate, had dinner, and rest early for the night. We had a very windy night. I had to retrieve the awning. At the, well, at the moment, I, I've opened up the awning again. It is so windy. Look how well it holds up. We'll explore a little bit to the other end of the beach. Um, it's probably a lot, a lot calmer over there. So, this is how our adventure begins. Now, this is not, this time doesn't look like a possible climb to me. Um, unfortunately, our adventure has to end here. We'll have to go all the way back. Is it good? <laughs> so, that's how our exploration ended. Our intended track was actually uh, going to drive through this dune system to reach another beach down there. However, the date was getting a little bit late and we couldn't risk driving through this dune system that we are not familiar with. Unfortunately, we had to head back the same way we did. In the next day, we opt to go fishing. So we went to the other side of the beach. At the end of the beach, there's a bit of a cliff structure that is made of limestone. 
and we saw this interesting phenomenon where the sand flows down like a waterfall. We call it sand fall. That is probably the effect of limestone erosion. And when you turn to the sand, it flows down under the effect of gravity. We found a good spot and started casting rods with lures. The weather was lovely, with the occasional sunshine down the crystal clear sea water. It looked exceptionally spectacular. We casted light lures, and we caught a few herrings. The morning was so much fun. So what's happened is we saw this. Well, it is not burning, but then it's hot. We took water from the ocean and put it off. Why would you do this? Even not saying hot, but not putting it out. Paul, you're doing great deeds, mate. Great deeds. I don't want to look at if a little kid comes up here. Far out. Now, this is after three buckets of seawater, and it is still boiling hot. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, bubbling. Whoever left this white hot ash on the ground, we have put it off for you. But really, there is no excuse not to put it off when you stay next to the ocean. In the next morning, we opted to visit a limestone hill in Reef Beach. Limestone Hill is a bit of a thing in the Great Southern, and we really want to check it out. So we quickly pack up and ready to go. But just before we get there, Paul unfortunately got himself into a bit of a predicament. He got stuck at a bad position, so we made a sensitive move. We pull out the winch and commence recovery. We tried a simple winch pull, but it didn't quite make it. That was because my Triton was really light, and uh, obviously a combination of the Navara and the trailer kept pulling me downwards. So I've decided to keep it a light pull to get Paul to safety. This was a bloody fantastic weekend. Unfortunately, this awesomeness has to come to an end. We finally went onto the summit of the limestone hill and check out the view. This was absolutely sensational. Mate, that is why we own a four-wheel drive, to get to places where a normal car cannot. This was such a successful trip. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at 4x4AdventureWA. I'll see you there.
If you have any suggestion to the video, please comment down below.